1979 Commodore uh, 2200 baby blue color bought this at an antique store about a year ago and they asked me $35 for it on eBay and I got this for $15 at the antique store great little machine works like I don't know like a train uh, in excellent condition everything works there are there are some erased spots inside this typewriter which I have to clean out and there's some dust here but the outside is just great there are a few spots where the paint is gone but almost not recognizable um, you can't see it this is the color selector okay. red black stencil this is a touch control which I haven't figured out how to work with yet I don't understand this button yet anyway uh, it has zero spaces one one and a half and two spaces um, it has the margins over here and the cube form is the um, carriage uh, release push this button and you get the paper support which you can pull out like this red numbers on the paper support let me just see here uh, I can take this off if I take this like this my turn. I can take the roller off, which I'm not going to do, by the way, because I don't find it a very good idea. But like you can see here, it's loose now, and you can take it out. Just give me this in again. Oh, there we go. There we go, it's in again. So, this is the Commodore 2200. This is how it looks from the inside. Two new, uh, one new ribbon in it. This is the touch control. No, wait a minute. This is the Inside this is the touch control, this is the uh, carriage holder, if I push this down or up. Oops, there we go. I'll just figure out what it was, I think. Oh, okay, I see. Um, this, button, this button here, if I push the tab, I pull this down. see what happens. Just give me a second here. This is the tab setting and the tab clear button. This one here. So if I do like this. Up. 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 I'm just clearing this out for a second so you guys can see what I mean. Some free just made a mess of this margin or tab let me see there we go if I go one two three four five spaces and pull it down and I push the tab it stays after five spaces uh, I just got the cover so this is how it looks from the inside paper support paper support Nice hammer touch, light touch. Uh, I can't decide like here. But there's a light touch. Um, this is the release. Like I told you. And this is a funny story though. Because when I got uh, at the antique store. And I was going for this machine. 
And when I got there, there were like two more of uh, these typewriter cases. There was a Smith Chrono Sterling in there, not the one I had in the other video. And there was a Brother Opus 895 on it, which you will see in a different movie, like the Smith Corona. And so I got three typewriters for $75, which I thought was a great deal. And I got about which I will do in a different video, was like four days ago, I got typewriters for $45, there so were two standards and one portable, and the one portable you will see in a different movie, that's uh, also Smith from Sterling, this is a newer model, this is 67, behind the number 3, I have to look up which number it is, anyway, um, it's a great little machine, nice touch, like I said, I have to clean it out, it has a closed bottom. You see it's closed. Two feet. Four feet. I have the logo. There is no name on the front or on the cover. You can see it's clean. There is no name on there but I have it. Uh, this typewriter by the way. I will show you guys. The Commodore 2200 comes away from me get it. Yes, yes, one, two, three, the cleaning tools. And the guarantee registration. This is the guarantee registration. It is bought on February the 19th, a Saturday in 1972. At, oh, look at that, the same shop as the Royal Tapomatic, Brian Ball and Co. LTD on, yeah. Guarantee ready. So that means several. Yeah, uh, probably the speed rider is also bought there. Um, oh, that's funny. You even see the owner's name? Holy cow! I didn't even notice. I'm not gonna show you guys because that's private. And here it has been fixed once, and here is the label. So it has been put away, it says, here you can see, I hope you can read it. Here it says Commodore, it says the serial number, 2200. The serial number is 120030. Uh, the type is a Pika USA, and the color is gray, which is not correct, because this is baby blue. And here are the cleaning tools. comes with a cloth to clean up the typewriter with oil stains. And give me this. It comes with the eraser, which some parts still have been here. And actually, these are the cleaning tools, which I'm still using for different typewriters. From, well, they're pretty old, and well, they're now shiny because I used them for oiling. There's another one. It's this Commodore on here. I don't know if you can see it. And I thought it was a toothbrush, but it comes with like the color. You see, I looked it up, it comes with every typewriter, so it's included. I don't have the manual anymore. Uh, I had it when I bought it, but it was so falling apart, I just I couldn't keep it together anymore. And it was, I, I got water it was collecting in it, so because this suitcase had been out for a while. And I had to throw it away because you couldn't read one letter anymore. Just let me get this in my purse. And then we get some typing on. I find it's a good idea. Let me get just a piece of paper right here. Just paper sport. One color black and light get cracking. Okay.
So I will take the cover off so you can see better what's going on inside, which is easy with a Commodore. I'm just going to take the entire cover off. Um, I don't know if I told you about it with the Speedwriter, but the Speedwriter and the Commodore typewriter company are not the same, but they produce the same kind of typewriter. They are called different. By the way, um, let me just get it. It should be in here. It should be... Yes. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the Commodore Commodore emblem. What is it called? Keep it like that. It looks like an angry smiley. If you keep it like that. I don't know what it looks like. Okay, let me see. Just get stick in my purse. Pick my purse. Has a huge box. It's, it's made of, out of leather, I think the box. The outside though. The inside is full of malt. I think a bird crapped uh, pooped in it. So for the bad language. Okay. Brothers carriage shift. Yes. So, so this is the Commodore typewriter, see you soon.